Hey, it's Mike with Carbonize This. It's summertime and several of you have asked me to carbonize tropical fruit, so that's what we're gonna do today. We've got large and small papaya, dates, dragon fruit, mango, kiwano melon, pineapple, and we're even gonna throw in one of these gladiolas, which is a tropical flower. We decided to cut the pineapple up a little bit because it was too large to carbonize completely through in one run. And then on this tray, we've got all the other fruits. First tray's going in, and now the second tray. Last up is the gladiola. We've got the tropical fruit loaded in these first two trays, and we've actually got coconuts in the back, which is for another video. Time to seal it up. It's the next morning, time to check things out. Got some really cool results here. We're gonna start with these smaller items that have carbonized completely and work our way up to the larger ones. First up is the slices of Kiwano melon. And they are stuck to the tray, so I don't think I'll be able to pull those up. We're gonna try to get this Kiwano melon slice off the tray. There we go. So being a small piece, it definitely carbonized completely. And it is stuck to the tray pretty good. Yeah, it's just gonna break apart. Here are the dragon fruit slices. Broke very easily, completely carbonized. You can see all the tiny little seeds on it. It kept its texture, but just shrunk a little bit. There's the other side. Now let's see if we can snap it in half. You can see the texture is still there and all the seeds, mostly black with a little bit of bronze coloring. You can really see the seeds on this side. We'll break it in half now. Like a cracker, a little dragon fruit cracker. But I'm not gonna try it. Here's the mango. So here's the top with the fleshy side that we scored. And then there's the side with the peel. Let's see if we can break these off. Piece is a diced mango now. Here are the dates. We've got a date slice and then a whole date. Let's check out the seed first. See if we can get it off. Yep. Let's see if it's carbonized. Now the half of the date. Let's see if we can break this date in half. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. You can see where the seed was and the seed and the outer layer is a different density. Here's the slice of our pineapple. Let's break it right along this crack. Oh, look at here. This is really cool. You can see where the core is very dense and then the flesh is nice and flaky. And here's the underside and you can see it's very shiny right here and then has some bronze coloring. When we slice a pineapple, the core is always tough to go through. Let's see if it's harder to break than the outer layer. That was pretty easy. Let's try the core. Actually, it, it, it's not harder. It's just a little bit more of a crisp break. We'll just crush this other half. Okay, here's half of a small papaya. Feels pretty light. I think it carbonized completely. Let's try to get a few of these seeds off. Nice and crispy. Let's try to snap it in half. Wow, carbonized completely through. Oh, look at there. This shininess is due to the sugar content of the papaya. So when we cracked it open, it's hollow on the inside, and then you've got the nice peel right here. 
All right, I'm gonna crush it up. So carbonizing the pineapple, the texture really pops now, and it basically looks like a black and white pineapple. Let's try to snap some of these leaves off. Let me try to pull the top of it off and crush it. Oh, it did not carbonize completely. But it's pretty close. Let's just break it open. So it's not real juicy. It's a little bit damp, but it could not carbonize that inner layer without getting hotter or running for longer. So here's the large papaya. It obviously didn't carbonize completely. We can see the flesh kind of shining through. And here's the underside where you can check out the uh, skin of the papaya. It's pretty lightweight, so a lot of that moisture left. Let's try to break it in half. Oh, wow, look. It actually kind of carbonized in layers. It's real hollow right here. Looks like the flesh pulled away from the peel. And then this is just a little bit damp. Really cool color contrast. Looks a lot like the grapefruit we did. Let's check out some of the seeds too. And being so small, they carbonized very easily. And here's how the skin of the papaya turned out. You know what's cool is I can actually smell this right now. It smells really good. It almost smells like a sweet barbecue sauce. Maybe we just discovered something. Does anyone have a barbecue sauce that's based on papaya? So this Kiwano melon is also called an African horned melon. And you can see these tiny little points. And uh, they were sharp before. They're pretty sharp right now. And they carbonized and turned silver. It is stuck to the tray because all the juice that came out. There we go. So here's the underside of the uh, melon. It's pretty light, so it might have carbonized completely, but we're gonna crush it to find out. I'm gonna brush some of these uh, horns off so I don't get poked. Before we squash that Kiwano melon, let's bring the small papaya over and look at it. So it's a little bit heavier, so I don't think a lot of the moisture left, it's still inside. <laughs> but this outside turn is glossy color, likely from the sugar and moisture. And this, this is definitely sugar that's oozed out. We've seen this with our chocolate experiments. And here's our whole dragon fruit. Looks like a scaly little dragon egg. So it's actually feels very soft and it's heavy still. So I think there's a lot of moisture in this one. All right, the part I've been waiting for, let's smash these three. So that's the papaya. And there's, and there's the Kiwano melon. Lots of water in that one still. You can see the seeds in here, but most of the flesh is gone. And there's the dragon fruit. So the inside is still recognizable. Looks just like the center of a dragon fruit. So here's the gladiola. It turned out pretty cool. It's got lots of different colors. You've got the black, obviously, from the carbon. There's some bronze there, and that sometimes is from iron and other minerals. A little bit of a silver color here, which can be from calcium. Let's break the stem off. So we've got some brown color on the inside. It's hard to tell if it's just because it didn't carbonize or if that's from some kind of mineral or other material. Overall, it just looks like it shrank and then became very brittle. So that's how you make barbecue fruit salad. Check out these other videos for more of my awesome recipes. We'll see you on the next video.